So what's going on, I hear you ask? So we're on the River Avon, which you have to pay an additional licensing fee for. We paid £85 for 30 days. I'm recording inside just due to the sound quality, hoping that you can hear me better. Basically, it started snowing and then it started raining. Then it started sleeting, snowing, and then a combination of all three above. That is mean. I am actually trying to hold the camera steady, but Willow's in my face. Literally in my face. She was jerking the camera. However, it has stopped snowing, sleeting and raining. And I was planning on moving today on the River Avon. I just had a man knock on the boat from the River Avon Trust, I believe they're called, asking me if I was okay and explaining to me that the river is now in red and we shouldn't move. By we, I mean me and the dogs, Dave's at work. Um, he advised me to retie the boat because when we arrived, Willow was jumping a foot out of the boat, up and out. Uh, and now that the flooding's happened, she's jumping, um, well, I'd say a foot down. The man explained to me that the river is actually now in flood by about four foot. I did tie onto the, I don't know what they call them. I call them the bobbins or pins, um, but he wants me to retie the boat onto the flood poles because then that means that as the water rises, the boat will rise and descend, hopefully, in, in the right area. The problem with the flood is I know I'm on a boat and yes we can go up and that's no problem we will float but it's when the water recedes you don't want the boat half on the bank and half in the water and thereby tipping over so I'm going to pull the boat back retie it so we're secured to the ascending and descending rings on the river poles to make us safer he said that it'll be in red until Sunday I'm hoping we can move on Sunday because I need to be somewhere Monday, Tuesday um, and I won't be able to move the boat there and obviously I want to be able to leave the boat knowing that it's safe. That's all up in the air. I might just end up cancelling that appointment and staying with the boat making sure that we're all safe on the river. That's what I'm going to do now. Anyway, let's go outside. the ring down there and obviously they go up and down and obviously he's stepping out oh, it's substantial we're, we're up anyway so because I tied onto the pins what I need to do is I need to move the boat back so she's sitting and the reason why I went forward was to enable another boat to come in but as we're in red obviously no boats are going to come through the bridge because obviously they're dealing with the current of the river would be advised not to move. I, I was tied slackly. Now particularly my bow rope is going to be quite taut. I need to move the boat back so it's sitting in the middle of these three poles. And then I know we'll be safe. I left the going plank there. I halted it slightly and took the rubber mat away. It was uh, lifting. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I think it helps. Give the sailors a chance to work. If you've enjoyed me prepping the boat for further flooding, then uh, give us a thumbs up. I hope you never find yourself in a flood. This isn't a how-to. This is how I would deal with it. I'm sure there's much more qualified people out there. If you're ever unsure, always find CRT whichever um, waterways authority you're on, they will come to you, they will help you. So that's the bridge we came through yesterday, um, and this is the current, this is the wind on the river. It's, it's flowing obviously to the River Seven, which is that way, the way we came. But going through bridges will be a problem. Dirty wellies, thinking I'd take them off put some other shoes on and then dip them in the canal. It's 
some sticky stuff. I think I, think I need a go daddy. Is it like that one that washes the dogs in your boots and things? I think that's what I need. They're not brilliant. We're going to have to stay outside. Uh, we don't have a mud room. Straight into our cellar. It's not brilliant. We're fine, I think. I've had to rework the mooring of the boat somewhat. Uh, we're about to burst over. Re you can see where it's coming in. You can see where it's it's bursting. The, the, the water's still rising, clearly. So I've had to... <sighs> yeah, it's coming up. And my fear is I'm going to lose the grass or the ability to get off the boat with the dogs. Roped, as I said. Excuse the mud on the boat. It is muddy. Now the boys, you'll note, are absolutely useless. They're ineffective now because the boat's so high. So what I've done is I put our big boys around the flood poles in hopes that it keeps us off the bank. Uh, we're now walking through water. And you'll note it's coming up on this back end as well. So I think I've rewoped it in time. Uh, I've redone the gangplank. So what we've got there is we've got two gangplanks, one metal and one plastic. I'm not sure the plastic would hold Willow's weight. Hence why I put the metal one in there. Uh, I'm struggling because Dave manufactured this gangplank from a um, accessibility ramp and um well it, it's not we've never used it so we've never put it into action but it's not currently doing its job we will see because as the boat rises them them catches are uncatching so i've put the rope there in hopes that it catches the rope um, it does mean we are rubbing our paint off. I've also put a bungee on. I don't even think that will hold the weight of it. And I've bungeed them both together. As we've been talking, the water's coming in. Anyway, don't worry about me because my next job is I'm going in the engine bay. Uh, there's mud all over the boat. I'm absolutely sick to the back teeth of mud. I'm going in the engine bay. Bay. and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to dig out all the puppy pads I'm just balancing up the ramp dig out all the puppy pads and put them down in the boat because there will come a time and this is me just all thinking that I'm not going to be able to get these boat dogs off the boat and when that happens I don't want them to go to the toilet in my boat and they will hold it for a certain amount of time, but if they're anything like me, they are gonna have to go eventually. Hello, I had to take my jacket off. I've been working hard. You can't hold back the water. There's nothing you can do. So, It'll be what it will be. I can't see us floating away. My concern is getting the dogs off. We have this gangplank, which is precariously balanced on the side of our boat. It's also ripping away our paintwork and taking us down to bare metal. Uh, Dave's not going to be pleased, but to be quite honest with you, I would sacrifice anything for our dog. Well, for any dog really, but particularly trying to get ours off to enable them to go to the toilet. I've done all this work, it's still filling up. I mean, that's come up in the last, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The water's still heading towards us, so that's not slowing down. I've got a feeling we're going to lose the land. Certainly the ability to get off, to get to the land. Um, what do you reckon? Five inches maybe, and then it's gone. I doubt the dogs will go out then. I've retied her. I took the back rope off and I put it more of a centre line because we don't have a a pole in this area so we need to glide up and down with that one uh, Dave says he's coming as to whether he'll be able to get into the boat or not I don't know he's coming in on the van though so he might be staying in the van I might be staying on the boat plus points we've got sun and as such we've got solar so that's cool so as the light fades 
here on the River Avon uh, we have lost the landing and um, yeah I think with the current we're gonna lose more more of this green area more of the grassland I don't know whether you can see the current but yeah I think we're we're gonna struggle I think for balance I've just got a pole out so I can get up and down the ramp currently the dogs are doing it for how long much more we'll have access to the land I don't know wish us luck so unfortunately as per my fears we're losing the land so I've had to kick the dogs off they're gonna stay with Dave in that very tiny van it's not gonna be a great night for him yeah gangplank's gone water we're now up to the tree where Dave is is where the van is that's a worry because I've told him to leave and we're very much can you shine it on the pole we're nearly level with the top of the pole that Dave's not shined the torch on. Mm. Bye Dave. Hi Louise. Hi, I'm Dave. Um, yes, you didn't appear in this video. No, oh, you did briefly. Yeah, you could just see me on the, on the, the bank side shadow. holding a torch. You've just watched narrowboat changing pace being prepared for flooding um there is only a smidgen that you can control it's a smidgen of what i was able to do um worst case scenario for me came true i had to well we decided within half an hour of you being home yeah to take the boat to take the boats off the dog <laughs> to, to take the dogs off the boat yeah. Really wanted to apologise for the audio. It was extremely windy. I did want to demonstrate to you how I prepare the boat for flooding or for the incoming, for want of a better word, tide. The deluge of water. Wow. Yeah. I would have never have come up with that one. <laughs> Swallowed yeah. the dictionary this morning. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I prepare it. But obviously, you really need to contact... Um, Canal and River Trust or whatever waterways authority you're on, you need to partnership with them. They will advise you accordingly. But more importantly, you're making yourself known to them. And that worked very well in this instance. During, well, during the year, really, you can have heavy rain at any time, but more so in the winter. Uh, with the changeable conditions, you've got to be prepared for for rivers to flood. Uh, it's not like the canals, they, which they, they do flood. They do flood, but very rarely. And they do breach. Uh, and they do breach. But on rivers, it's more of when they're going to do it rather than if they're going to do it. Plowman said he's the gentleman <clears> from <throat> the Haven River Trust. Avon Navigation Trust, sorry. <laughs> He's a gentleman. He said that when it snows, that is the worst. Worst, worst case scenario. Uh, because when the, when the snow melts, it, it all comes into the river at once. Oh, so, yes, it's the timing. Yeah, so it, it's not a gradual like the rainfall. Where you're getting gradual amounts of water into the river if you've had two or three days of snow and it's all settled as soon as it melts all that water gushes, gushes into the river and it's the worst case scenario for, for flooding and i think that's what happened to us because a lot of other vloggers were putting out um you know frozen in and snow and yeah. this is, we got the other end of that okay. spectrum we got all of their snow yeah. yeah, which was interesting. It was slightly different to when at the back end of last year when we got, when we, I, got marooned on the River Severn. Yeah, the, the, the River Severn, the, pont the pontoons, the floating pontoons at the mornings, 
So you tie up to the pontoon and the whole thing goes up the pole. So it, it, it was better for us or Louise in that situation yeah. because she could get the dogs oh. off the boat onto the pontoon. Whereas on the River Raven, they have the flood poles, but they don't have floating pontoons. So the mooring landing is stationary, it's concrete. Mm. And Although the boat's safe. The boat's safe. and You just can't get on and off the boat. You can to a certain degree with a gangplank, but there comes a time where the gangplank's not... Well, how do you secure a gangplank? If you know, put it in the comments below because... Have a longer gangplank. <laughs> yeah, we're struggling with our gangplank. How long is our gangplank? It's only six foot. But it, it's not a gangplank. It's not like a lot of people use scaffolding uh, boards as gangplanks, which are all right for humans, but you're not going to get a great end to walk down a... A ten foot scaffold pole. You can put two she, together. She just wouldn't do it. Well, she wouldn't do it because she can't get a grip with her nails, mm. which is why the uh, Astro Turf works really well. Mm. And on our metal gangplank, we put carpet on that. But she still prefers the Astro Turf one that Vicky mm. and my game. My games, yes. So thank you for that. What it it was just a bit of a surprise when I got back to the boat how much, how quickly the water had, had, had come up. Dave uh, did manage to get on the boat. He was on here for yeah, I, 30 I, minutes. If that. Uh, he came on and he brought the shopping home. So we, I had uh, provisions, supplies, and he just got kicked off. And we, the dogs went off as well we, we, with we, the dog food. We, we really. We really sort of like had to make a decision quickly. Uh, if we'd have left it an hour, I don't think the dogs would have got off the boat. Um, I think we might have been able to carry Otto, but I don't think we would have been able to carry Willow. Willow, she'd have it, freaked out. Yeah, and, and two of us trying to carry Willow down the gangplank in the dark. It was, just, it was just it was just the safest, sensible thing to do. Uh, luckily, I come home in the van. I was uh, lucky, and I got, I, we had got the choice there to make. It didn't mean leaving Louise on the boat on her own. It was lonely, and with. The advice from the gentleman from the Avon Trust, he said the car park floods. So I did leave and come back Saturday morning. Uh, I didn't want to get stranded in, in, in the car park in the van with Louise stranded in the river on the boat. We are going to run the uh, flooding days. The subsequent days. Yeah. Uh, one after the other. So for Saturday's instalment, do tune in tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Whichever day that is. I can assure you there'll be water involved. Lots of it. If you have enjoyed this episode, do give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have any questions, tips, or however any comments are greatly received yeah do bear in mind this is not an how to video it's a how we do it please do comment on if you think we could do it oh a better, better way yeah and also the gangplank that i'd be interested in how you would do the gangplank oh. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow i hope you have a great evening whatever right. you're getting up to Take care, look after yourselves. Yeah, bye. Bye.